We get later and later every time. <laughs> yeah, on the real. <laughs> True that. Okay, another top five. We've been doing a lot of these lately. I really haven't been doing much when it comes to you giving a lot, but wow. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Wow. So, you guys went ahead and suggested top five fill spells. But there are just so many good fill spells. And to spice it up, I decided that I'm just going to do the Ching Chong OCG spells. That's racist. OCG I can Close hear I, I can hear the unsubscribe <laughs> clicks right now. So, oh, he make fun of our religion and race. Oh. So, of course, I put the card art around this area. <laughs> but they're in Ching Chong language. And I'm way too lazy to take the card, put it in the card maker, and do all that shit. So, I'll try to just do off of memory these cards. And Not hopefully real. I get the effects right. <laughs> While well, Renny has whatever. So, mm -hmm. you know, instead of... Rennie getting the bottom barrel, and I get all the good cards. Rennie gets the choice of any TCG slash OCG fill spell he wants. So let's see how good you can pull this off. True that. After you, bitch. Oh, I'm going to go first? Yes, bitch. Okay. All right. My number five. I'm going to have to say, and Rennie's going to be like, what the fuck is that card, and what does it do? I'm going to have to say, I forgot the name of the fucking card. <laughs> so you're going to put a question mark right the fuck here? Hold on. Let me think. Empowering something. Oh, empowering something, the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Well, that sound like a card. steroid, the fuck? Empowering bullshit. I should just get up and... Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, oh, you go do yeah, your number five. Yeah, I forgot to do the card. Yeah. Uh, professional ass motherfucker. <laughs> Since he doesn't know his, I'll do mine. My number five is Medoche Chateau. You know, put it right here, glossy for you. Ding, ding. Uh, yeah. You know what Medoche Chateau is. You activate it, and if by some, I don't know, weird miracle, you got Medoche monster in the graveyard, they go to the axe to the deck, which is good. They get an attack boost, which makes Terramasu actually have some some firepower a little bit. Little 27 Didn't and shit. Did you mean hand? What? Didn't you mean hand that the Medoche monsters go to the hand? No, no. The first effect on Medoche Chateau is when you play it, oh, all Medoche monsters in the, the graveyard, graveyard yeah. go to that deck. Stupid piece of shit telling you about the fucking card. You know, and then they get an attack boost, and then I was getting to that. Mm -hmm. If Madoches activate their effect, you know, they would go to the graveyard. You can add them to your hat instead. It's, it's not mandatory, motherfucker. Shut up, you're not even ready yet. Talking shit over there. They can't even see you on screen. I don't know. I'm in disembodied. They, they usually can't see me. Bung, bitch. But anyways, yeah. So, you know, Madoches are good. They're just... No, it ain't got no bite on my turn, but you know, that card there, the plays are just never ending. It's non-stop. It's, and then it's an endless loop like his virginity. Endless loop. Okay, I got the name. Oh, finally. Finally. Took you long enough. Okay. Oh, I got the weight. Ow. <laughs> I got it. This guy. Go ahead. Go. All right. What you got? Empowering Never Armory. That's the name of the card. Ooh, okay. Sounds powerful. Okay. It's for those empowering warrior cards mm -hmm. that really weren't played and really weren't popular. They're only popular at one point because the fill spell is good because you go ahead and discard a card to special summon one of them from the deck. Mm -hmm. They're level four, Ptolemyos, Infinity. So uh, it was popular at one point. It kind of fell off the boat, you know, even before Ptolemyos was banned because Performer Pals and Mages and Pals became a much better deck for making the, you know, rank fours and Ptolemyos. So uh, it kind of fell off, but it was still good. I mean, any deck that allows you to summon a monster, a card that allows you to summon a monster from your deck, that's pretty powerful. True. So I definitely got to go ahead and give number five to this Ching Chung card. I'm just being so yeah, unreal. <laughs> unreal. Like right underneath the card, you need to say put a racist underneath it. <laughs> See, I was close. Um, I said empowering something. <laughs> okay. I, I wonder how many cards start with empowering. I bet you it's like at least ten of them. I should go check. <laughs> okay. Empowering. empowering. Okay, my number four, since apparently I'm going first for some fucking reason, uh, Necro Valley. Ooh, wee. <laughs> what? You actually put Necro Valley? Yeah, but it's only number four, though. Damn, I lost that bet. Uh-huh. I uh -huh. bet that you wouldn't put that card because no, you hate no, it. No, I do hate Necro Valley. I hate Grave Keepers in general, but I gotta respect Necro Valley. You know, 500 attack point boosts and defense boosts, so that just makes them have an ass and... I don't know what you call attack power. It's attack power. I'm not trying to be sexist, so I'm not going to call it what I think we should call it. <laughs> uh, and the ability is to shut down their banishing from the graveyard. You'd be like, oh, you doing Chaos Dragon? Do you like to banish from grave? No. No grave for you. In graveyard effects, you go night-night. Except your own. But if you try to fuck with something else, you go night-night. Bye-bye. Hail to the king. 
bitches. So it's yeah. cold in here. Necker Valley, number four. Don't yeah. play great for Brazil, they suck. Damn. You know? <laughs> All right, what you got? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, it's cold. You look like frosty snow, man. The fuck are you doing, man? It's, <laughs> for real. it's snowing in this damn house. Why do you got that jacket on? Because I'm cold. No, ooh, it's but like... I'm at least I look fly, though. You look like, I don't know. You look like uh, the state marshal, man, if he was blue. I don't know the fuck. Go. Just go. What are you doing? Go. All right. So my next OCG filled spell card mm -hmm. is going to have to be Ark in the Sky. You're like, I don't know what that No, is. is that that thing with the rainbow in the background? Looks like it's a gay card. The one with odd eyes on it? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah rainbow. The one with odd eyes. Mm -hmm. Uh, just being able to pop a face-up card and search for an auto ice card is very powerful. We've seen it a ton of times where she's like, oh, you have two monsters? Well, up in the sky, play one of my pendulum monsters, pop it, search for my auto ice fusion, and here comes that uh, freaking Vortex Dragon. It's a very powerful card. Uh, the reason why I'm putting it so low on the list is because, of course, the deck is powerful, but they really don't need it. You know, right. It's not one of those filled spells where you know it make or break the deck. It's just a bonus. And having it so your uh, pendulum scales can't be targeted either, is actually pretty good as well. So I'm definitely gonna have to give number four to Ark in the Sky. Is Konami just making more broke fill spells? How come they couldn't make it when I was playing like that? <laughs> Swear to God, when I was playing, all the fill spells were stupid and just dumb. <laughs> like, Wasteland. Like, 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 now? And, and shit like that. Now it's like, oh, you could do this, this, and I protect yourself. Suck it, bitch. <laughs> Continue to spell, eat your heart out. All right, anyway, uh, number three, El Threzo. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> uh, it's called Gates to the Dark World, right? Or Gates to the Underworld, what is it called? Is that what it's called? Gates to the Underworld? Is it Dark World or Underworld? It's one of them. Oh, yeah, Gates to the Dark World, yeah, with oh. that alien standing or to, or to the gates of Hades. Yeah, I mean, first of all, any fill spell that helps your engine is good. You know, straight up and down, you know. And that, that you don't really have to pay a cost for it, like what do you call it, Mount Sylvan. You ain't seen that on this list because it sucks. Damn. And you gotta pay a cost just to set yourself up and you still have to wait. It's not worth it. With this, again, attack point boost. Make that graph a nice 3000 B stick. That's gotta be some shit, you know. And then you banish the fiend, discard a fiend, and then you draw a card. So not only is like, okay, I don't give a damn about the Phoenix in the graveyard, I'm not using it no more. You get the send what's from your hand to the graveyard, get your fucking Dark World effect, and then draw a card for no fucking reason. It's because then if you just discard that one, you get to draw a card, you get to draw two cards, what they love to fucking do, and then bam, get your graph on, you pieces of shit. <laughs> damn. So, great feel spell, hella fucks with the, hella good for the engine, it's still a piece of shit. Go fuck yourself, Dark Worlds. Damn, uh, just like what's next? Well, it's a good thing I'm not cutting Fire King Island on here. No, 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 no. Because no. <laughs> that's exactly. another deck. Yeah, eight. that's number three. <laughs> oh, my Gates God. Gates of the Underworld Dark World. Wish they should have called it Underworld. It would have been better. But, right. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> my number three, I'm going to have to give it to the manliest naming card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Magispec Pegasus. That's actually the name of the card. The fuck? <laughs> it's the Magic Spectre fill spell. Yeah, okay. But very, thanks. very powerful card. Of course, Magic Spectres are already a really stupid deck because they decided to make the entire archetype not be able to be destroyed or targeted by your opponent's card effect. Like Hazy's on crap. Like, great. Like, awesome. Yeah, like Hazy's on So, the, one of the major problems with them is they generally have low attack. I think their strongest monster that's easily normal summoned is Fox at 1500. Mm. So, you attack over them. That's what you do. Pegasus, go ahead and give them an additional 300. Mm -hmm. All right, turn that fox into 1800 beta that mm -hmm. can't be targeted to show that card effect. Like, great. But then that second effect, just so good. You go ahead and just, and tribute one of your magic sector monsters to summon a different one from the deck. Mm -hmm. And of course, when they summon, they get their effects. You're going to let them tribute. It goes back to your deck just to be pendulum summoned back next turn. So it just reinforces your place, recycles your uh, spells and traps. And of course, you're going to be searching, continuously building up resources, stopping your opponent's play by tributing, and... Just fuck that deck. It's just too fucking good. And the fill spell does not help when it comes to dealing with that deck. <laughs> like I said, all, all fill spells do now is jerk the deck off more. You know, like, oh, I know you're good, but you can use another hand. Let's go. <laughs> Here, get your plays off. Ugh. All up in your face. Magic Scepters. Ugh. Oh, you finished? Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Well, well, yeah. What's your number two? Uh... I know this deck isn't really relevant anymore, but they feel spell still hella good to me. Uh, the Grand Spellbook Tower. 
That's that spell book fucking feels for that people would every day every time people play it, they don't never read it because it's too fucking long. Oh my god. Yeah, right. but but if you would actually take time and read it, it's actually pretty fucking good, you know? <laughs> or first of all, the standby phase, you get to fucking what do you call it? If you have a special summon spell custom monster, you can pick a spell book card in your graveyard, put it at the bottom of the deck and draw a card. Yeah. Just because, like that that's a bullshit right yeah, there. Cycle that you know, no, 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 just you know, put it back, draw a card, you know. And like, I ain't like they ain't gonna be able to search it, which they can search all the fucking deck. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then when this shit's destroyed by a fucking card fact, how many ever spell books in the graveyard? You, you count them, and you can summon a spell book monster equal to or less that. What kind of shit is this? So you plus for plusing, and then I finally get ready shit, and then you plus some more. I'd say there's only one spell spell that's similar or better than it at this point. At Cosmo Town. Yeah, it true. pretty much does what that does on crack. crack. It doesn't miss timing. Yeah, exactly. Like but this is still some bullshit. Yeah. I hate cards that let you plus for no fucking reason, just to plus to plus. Fuck yourself. Is Cosmo Town like an honorable mention on your list? Yeah. Oh, what was this, number two? Yeah, that was number two. All right. All right. My number two is uh, there's cards here in TCG, but the deck's not even anything out in TCG. And the only reason why it's anything in the OCG is because of this failed spell. I'm going to have to get number two to Revolving Switchyard. Because trains ain't shit without that card. And that card just does so fucking much. It jerks the deck off. It, it's just mm -hmm. like, like, wait, wait, wait. I get to do what with the trains? Like, oh yeah, that's totally fair. So, the first effect, great. You know, when you normal summon or special summon a level 10 train, you get to go ahead and summon a Earth level 4 machine 1800 from your deck. And it becomes level 10. Mm. So, it's just like, oh. Well, I have my fill spell. I mean, of course, you can't do any damage that turn, but who cares? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and summon this Night Express Knight. He's going to drop down to zero, but I don't care. My fill spell effect, go ahead and summon that Thuggish, that Thugnificent, <laughs> Exenador, Detach, and I'm going to get another search. Other effect, great too. You can go ahead and discard a card to search for a level 10 check. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just great, too. <laughs> you know, overall, that, that card definitely made trains. And without that fill spell, that fill spell never exists. I don't care if you have Night Express Knight. I don't care if you have Decrane. Uh, no. You need that fill spell. If you're running trains, you run the terraforming. You even run Planet Pathfinder mm -hmm. just to get that fucking fill spell. You know that when you're doing against trains, that's what you take out. you got to get rid of that fill spell because they are just going to run you over. No pun intended. If <laughs> you do not get rid of that fill spell. So I definitely Ooh. have to give number two to Revolving Switchyard. That was a real game, my nigga. They'll run you over. What's your number one? Oh, Long John. Oh! Oh, Long John! Oh, Long John! Long John! ass. Okay. <laughs> well, my number one, I thought about it, and I'm like, what deck? need their fill spell above all else and was crippled when they lost their shit. So I want to answer. <laughs> Dragon's Ravine. Yeah, I'm thinking Dragon's Ravine. Yeah, Dragon's Ravine, that's number one. First of all, without this shit, they were nothing. They couldn't do anything. They just sat there, cowered with their wings clipped. They were like fucking spray bottle of fly and it's just sitting there trying to lip but it can't do anything. That's what happened. They got their wings sprayed, you know, and they couldn't do shit. But now that they got it, they still they, they do a little bit more, but you still need about three of it. And I don't really think I need to explain Dragon Ravine. It's like the core of the fucking deck. You know? Bam, pitch your dragon thing so you can summon your wing beast, equip your dragon, and get your synchro jerk off on. You know? You know, pitch. Again, if you have the dragon head, pitch the dragon, add the freaking level four, wing beast, whatever, start jerking yourself off. You know? That's that's all that's all you do. Without that, you have no pitch. It's like you got the hand with no lube. You, you, you got nothing. <laughs> you know, so dragons are mean. And thank God dragons are dead, dead. This car can come back. But the problem is Konami can't really make another dragon-based deck around the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Because if they do, again, this card again is going to night-night. So, yeah, number one, dragons are mean. And if you need to have any more proof, just type in dragon ruler. You'll find the rest. Just type it in. So all you gotta do is type in Dragon Ravine, like, do you mean Dragon Ruler, Dragon Ravine, da 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon Ravine. Alright. Mm -hmm. My number one card. Uh, similar to how it helps the deck. This deck is like a pseudo floodgate. And mm. it's kind of making the deck disgusting. I'm gonna have to give number one to Dominion of mm. the Monarch. God. God. Hey. Like, oh, come on. Right. Like, <laughs> generally, you look at a deck, you're doing on DN Depth Pro or something. They don't have an extra deck. 
What's, your th what's going through your mind? They're playing something wacky. Mm -hmm. They're going to play Either like fucking... Exodia, Burn, or Monarch. But now it's a Monarch because mm -hmm. of that fucking filth spell. It's bad enough that I got to worry about you doing your Monarch song for tripping my shit. Now I got to worry about fucking just Dominion. Mm -hmm. Generally, when you do against Monarchs, you know, they're a more slower paced deck. You know, they're doing the classic play of tributing. So you answer that with your more advanced plays. Your response is out of the action deck. You know, cast all that Monarch mm -hmm. away. Stuff like that. Nah. Dominion. Let me go ahead. If I don't control any monsters in my extra deck, which I'm not, because yeah. I'm playing fucking Monarchs, mm -hmm. you know, and I have a tribute summon monster, you can't summon from the extra deck. Yep. How, how's that sound? Is that fair? fair? No. Yep. It's fair. fair. That. Like, it's fair for and then, just to put the fucking cherry on top, the freaking tributed monster, when it attacks, gains an eight extra 800. Thank you. Because mm -hmm. it's bad enough. I mean, I have this 3,000 monster. It's bad enough that now you're going to tribute and then just ram into me and attack and go up to 32. Because why not? Give him an additional attack during the damage calculation. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm not done. I'm not fucking done. You can go ahead and reveal one of your level 8 monarchs and then drop it soul by two while it's in the hand. So now, it only needs one tribute instead of two. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, monarchs have seriously blown up to arguably the third best deck in the OCG. Definitely uh, being able to combat, you know, the other two decks of being Burning Abyss and Perform Agent Palace because you can't summon from the extra deck. Yep. You know, even when I face that deck with Cleese, which you would think, all right, well, that matchup shouldn't be that bad. You're pending something from the hand, you can just trip. No, because now you can't pendulum summon out the damn extra deck because that counts too. Just oh, I'm sorry, uh, all, your, all, your, all your new age are too slow, too fast, too slow. Fuck oh, monarchs. They, oh, like oh. monarchs were good for like what three years before Yu-Gi-Oh really picked up. Oh. Then we kind of stepped away from them. We should just step away from them. Oh. But no, they're back at full strength, full power, mm -hmm. weight, like their draw card is good, their level 8, like, I, it's been a cool minute since I've actually seen someone play Monarchs, the level 6s, because they just loop the hell out of the level 8s, and then the Warriors, and it's just, oh my god, and that field spell, it's like the center of it, they play that field spell, and shit's about to hit the fan, so hey, fuck it. I like that Konami's trying to spread the love around, you know, I'm tired of extra deck, and oh, the newest thing is the top shit, buy the new thing. The top shit is Necros, like, okay, I, that's, I like that, you know, I hated the fact that, you know, you needed to have this exceed bullshit to win, or you needed this synchro shit to win, now it's like, nope, play Monarchs if you want to do Tribute, play Necros if you want to play Ritual, play this if you want to play that, I like that they're spreading the love around a little bit, everybody getting a piece, I like that, everybody gets a piece. I've always hated Monarchs. I know you have always I've always hated yeah. Even when they did their whole Treeborn Frog mm -hmm. tribute, yeah, Caius banished yeah, my yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know uh, why you hate Frog Majesty's Fiend. Yeah. I don't know why you hated Frog Vanity's free. Frog Narts were school. Oh my god, because mm -hmm. I was playing you Bell, and I'd have you Bell, and they're just like, oh, Treeborn, Tribute, Caius, mm -hmm. banish, like, oh. Mm -hmm. Fuck! And you're dark, so take that thousand, <laughs> biatch. And it's just, it's just as bad now, it's even worse. <laughs> So there we go, people. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be taking a break. I'm not sure how long at this point. But uh, right now, but definitely when we come back, it's not going to be top five every single week. You know, it's just a He's going to get his ass up and go to locals. I'm going to make him. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> break, break the pimp pan out. Break the pimp pan out. But I'll do it. Break the pimp pan out. I don't want to go to locals. Wait. Who the fuck you slapping? You the bitch. You the bitch. You're the only bitch you should be bitch. You should be slapping yourself. Bitch, you the bitch. You bitch, you the bitch. Maybe some food, ho. We about to beef right here. Right now, we about to throw down. Go get your deck. It's going down. We about to go right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's five Ds, everything salt in the drill. Head ass. Head ass. All right, so like I said we'll try to do more. Whether it be going down to locals, dueling, you know, live duels, deck profiles, openings, we're gonna try more. I apologize, it's just been so many top fives, but you guys it seems like you guys have been enjoying it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Apologize is like just busy, busy, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.